In this illustration, we intend to calculate period of the pendulum using the abacus software and analytical solution. As you observe in the picture, the initial angle of the pendulum is 10 degrees. The length of pendulum is uh, 0.7 meters and the mass of ball is equal to 2 kilograms. First, a period of the pendulum is calculated using the analytical solution, then it will be calculated using the abacus software. And finally, the results obtained from the abacus software will be compared with results of the analytical solution. I will enter the abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. Here, uh, I intend to create a geometric shape of pendulum. I will select the modeling space as a three-dimensional. From here, deformable. Then select wire and planner. Enter uh, approximate size equal to five and continue. Here, I will draw a slanting line. As you observe in this picture, the angle of pendulum against the vertical axis is 10 degrees. The length of pendulum is equal to 0 0.7 meters. Done. In the next step, I will enter property module, click on create material. I will click on general menu, then on density. In this problem, the mass of the pendulum rod is ignored. In other words, uh, the pendulum rod is massless. So here I will enter a tiny figure as the, den as the density of pendulum. It's nearly zero. I will click on mechanical menu, uh, select elasticity and elastic. I will enter young modulus equal to 200 and multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 Pascal. The Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3 and OK. I will click on create section. Here select beam and then beam. Continue. I will click on create beam profile. Here select circular and continue. I will enter the radius of circle equal to uh, 0 0.01 meters. OK. I'll click on assign section, select pendulum, done and OK. Then I will click on assign beam orientation, select pendulum, done. I will press the enter button and OK. In the next step, I'll click on Special Menu, then on Inertia and Create. Here, I will select a Point Mass Inertia option and Continue. I will select this point, Done. As you observe here, the mass of orb is equal to 2 kilograms. OK. I will enter assembly module click on create instance and ok in the next step i'll click on tools menu select reference point then this point after that i will enter step module click on create step here select dynamic explicit continue i will enter time period equal to five seconds here i will tick on fixed option then select user defined time increment option enter time increment equal to 0 0.01 seconds okay 
I click on field output manager edit uh, here I will enter uh, the number of outputs equal to 250 and OK I will enter uh, interaction module I'll click on create constraint here select rigid body and continue I'll click on this arrow select pendulum rod done then I click on this arrow and select this reference point and OK in this manner the deformable rod was converted to rigid form rigid rod in the next step I'll enter load module here click on create load here select gravity continue I will enter acceleration of earth gravity equal to a negative 9.81 meters per squared second okay I'll click on create boundary condition select initial step then select displacement rotation continue I will select this reference point done here I will close all boundary conditions of displacement except UR3 in this manner rotation about Z axis would be free in the next step I will enter mesh module click on see the part and enter approximate global size equal to 0 0.5 meters click on mesh part and yes here we can use finer my meshes in order to get more exact results I will click on assign element type select pendulum done here put element library on explicit and OK here I will save the model I'll enter job module click on create a job continue OK and click on submit Here you observe the oscillating motion of pendulum.
Here we want to draw the diagram of pendulum motion. I will click on create XY data. Here select ODB field output and continue. After that I select unique nodal. Then U1 or the same displacement directed at X. Then select this point and click on save. Here you observe the diagram of the pendulum motion and as you see it, as you see, uh, it has an oscillating motion. The purpose of simulating this problem is to calculate the pendulum period. We can use this formula in order to calculate the period of pendulum. As it's clear here, the pendulum period is dependent on the length of pendulum and acceleration of Earth's gravity. Here, the length of pendulum is equal to 0.7 meters and the acceleration of Earth's gravity is equal to a 9.81 meters per squared second. The pendulum period is equal to 1.678 seconds. Now, here we intend to calculate the pendulum period using the Alcus software. Actually, the pendulum period is the amount of time it takes to make a complete swing. Or, in other words, the time it takes for the pendulum to return to its original position. Here, we need to calculate the time it takes for the pendulum to make one full swing. Here, the pendulum has already performed a complete oscillation, meaning that the pendulum has returned to its initial position once again. Here, the pendulum period having been obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 1.68 seconds and pendulum period having been gained by the analytical solution is equal to 1.678 seconds. As you observe here, the results obtained from the Abacus software is concordant with results gained from the analytical solution and in both cases, the pendulum period is equal to 1.68 seconds. Another way of calculating the pendulum period is that we can do this based on the diagram. Actually, uh, we should obtain amount of time it takes to make a complete swing. Or in other words, calculate the time distance between two similar points. And as observed in this picture, this has already been implemented.